Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss another strategy in business, the mark-on. So mark-on, the difference between the initial cost and the selling cost. When does mark-on usually happen? First, a calamity has hit the source of a, new, of a raw material or commodity therefore affecting its supply. So like for example, no, kapag binagyo yung north, yung nagsusupply ng gulay sa Metro Manila, So, you, ibig sabihin, yung may mga stock na gulay kasi hindi makapag-deliver kasi nga naapektuhan ng bagyo sa pinanggagalingan nito. So, maaring yung may mga stock, may ibibenta nila ng mas mataas dun sa regular price na uh, binibenta nila. Kasi nga, uh, yung demand, mataas. Diba? Mataas yung demand. So, sila lang yung may stock, gagawa nilang mas taasan. So, wala magawa yung consumer kasi nga, Uh, limited yung stock. So, therefore, bibili talaga. And then, ito rin yung mangyayari kapag, like for example, uh, nagkaub nagkaubusan, no? Then, may stock ka. Uh, Kaya yung iba hinoherd nila. And then, ibebenta nila ng mas mataas. Kapag yung mga competitors nila ay naubusan na. So, sila nila ang mayroon. So, ang mangyayari, uh, itataas nila ngayon ang presyo. Seasonal demands or like for example in Christmas items no means uh, yung mga businessman natin naka bumabawi yan kapag ganyan yung product nila mga Christmas items kasi alam nila yung demand kapag Christmas season ang dami talaga so yung mga tao bibili talaga so kahit gaano kamahal yan so bibili at bibili yung tao lalo na dito sa Pilipinas kasi uh, special sa atin, special holiday talaga sa atin yung Christmas. So, lahat nagse-celebrate. Valentine's, so, yung Valentine's, so, yung regular price nung bulaklak, so, kung hindi naman Valentine's, napakamura lang. Pero kapag uh, Valentine's, doble yung presyo. So, yung mga uh, businessman natin, so, dun sila kumikita, bumabawi sila kapag mga ganito, seasonal. Kasi sa taas ng demands. And then, special occasion is being celebrated, like for uh, commemorative death anniversary. So, like for example, you know, kapag mahal na araw din, di ba? So, ano yung mga item na patok talaga kapag ganyan? May mga occasion kasing ganun eh. So, nangyayari yung mark on. So, I want you to remember all this uh terminologies the mark on mark on rate initial cost and the selling price so ito yung gagamitin natin sa discussion natin some formulas so ito yung mga formulas for mark on so to compute the mark on i see or the initial cost times the mark on rate to compute the mark on rate The mark on divided by the initial cost times 100. To compute the selling price, the initial cost plus the mark on. Okay, for example, Mrs. Rogon bought 100 uh, kilograms of avocado at 110 pesos per kilogram. So she desired to have, desires to have 25 percent mark on rate of this product. So first, uh. What is the mark on? How much is the selling price? And how much is the total possible profit? What are the given? So the total quantity bought is 100 kilograms. And then the initial cost is 110 pesos. And the mark on rate is 25%. So what is the mark on? Or 25% or 0.25? So, to compute the mark on, so using the formula, initial cost times the mark, mark on rate. So, that is 25% or 0.25. So, 110 times 0.25, the answer is 27.50 pesos. So, the mark on amount is 27.50 pesos. Next is the selling price. So, how much is the selling price? So, using the formula, the initial cost plus the mark on amount, which is 27.50 pesos. So, 110 plus, this should be plus. 
110 plus 27.5, the answer is 137.50 pesos. So, ito ngayon yung uh, selling price. So, magkano yung kinita ni Mrs. Rogan dun sa 100 kilograms na binili niyang avocado at 137.50. Kung dati, the price is 110 pesos, na ibenenta niya ng 137.50 pesos. Okay, based on the 25% mark on rate. So, that is 110 times 100. So, ito yung una, no? 110 times 100. The answer is 11,000. And then, yung bago, panibagong selling price is 137.5. So, 137.5 times 100. That is 13,750. So, kunin lang natin yung difference nito. 13,750 minus 11,000. The answer is 2,750 pesos. So, ito yung uh, kinita ni Mrs. Rogan sa 100 kilograms ng avocado. Next, Mrs. Babas, Peshery Products Entrepreneur, has decided to apply a mark-on base on initial cost of the fishery products. She desires 15% for fresh squids, 20% for dried squid, and 25% for squid rings. She bought fresh squid at 80 pesos per kilogram, dried squid for 150 pesos per kilogram, and squid rings 500 pesos per kilogram. So, what is the mark on for fresh squid, dried squid, and squid rings? And also, what is the selling price for fresh squid, dried squid, and squid rings? So first, uh, let us identify what are the given. So for fresh squid, so uh, magkano yung amount for fresh squid? That is 80 pesos. So that is the initial cost, 80 pesos with a mark on rate of 15%. For dried squid, the initial cost is 450 pesos uh, with a mark on rate 20%. And for squid rings, the initial cost is 500 pesos and the mark on rate is tw uh, 25%. So first, uh, let us find the mark on, the amount of the mark on for fresh, fresh squid, dried squid, and squid rings. Okay, by using the formula, so to compute the mark on of the fresh squid, so we can multiply the initial cost times the mark on rate. That 15% we can convert into decimal that is 0 0.15. So 80 times 0 0.15, the answer is 12 pesos. Next, for dried squid, so same process, for 150 times 20% or 0 0.20, the mark on is 90 pesos. And for squid rings, 500 times 0 0.25 or that is uh, 25%. So 500 times 0 0.25, the answer is 125 pesos. So the mark on is 125 pesos. And for letter B, what is the selling price for fresh squid, dried squid, and squid rings? So by using the mark on and the initial cost, so we can uh, find the amount of selling price of the fresh squid, dried squid, and squid rings. So for fresh, fresh squid, so initial cost is 80 pesos plus the amount of mark on which is 12 pesos, add lang natin yan, 80 plus 12, so the new selling price is 92 pesos. So from 80 pesos added by the mark on, so 92 pesos na yung selling price. Next. For dried squid, so 450 plus 90, that is 542. So, from 450, so ibebenta na now, 542. And for squid rings, so that is 500 plus 125, the answer is 625. So, ito yung selling price. So, mula sa 500, ibebenta ng 625 pesos. Finding mark on rate, so Mrs. Gasapo bought an item for 800 pesos and sells it for 900 pesos. So what is the mark on and the mark on rate? So given, so the selling price is 900 pesos 
And the initial cost is 800 pesos. So, what is the mark-on? So, ang mark-on niyan, isasubtract lang natin yung selling price dun sa initial cost. So, 900 minus 800, the answer is 100 pesos. And then, the mark-on rate, so, para makuha natin yung mark-on rate, i-divide lang natin yung amount ni mark-on, which is 100 pesos, divided by the initial cost, which is 900. So, 100 divide, uh, 800 rather, 100 divide 800 times 100, the answer is... 12.5% uh, So, nadobli lang ito So, 100 divide 800 times 100 The answer is 12.5% So, to check Para ma-check natin Kung tama yung mark on natin uh, Use this formula Initial cost times the mark on rate So, the initial cost is 800 Times the mark on rate Which is 12.5% so, 800 times, so, i-convert na natin into decimal. So, 800 times 0 0.125, the answer is 100 pesos. So, pareho sila. And to check our uh, selling price, the initial cost plus uh, the mark on, add lang natin yon. So, 800 plus 100, the answer is 900. So, same sila. Okay? That, uh, ito yung isang paraan para ma-check natin kung tama yung mark on natin at selling price. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.